Leo, can you talk through the sort of key points your team, Johnny Sexton, and I, tell me to see his name on a team sheet, it means you're taking the game seriously. Um, yeah, like it's a huge game, yeah, for, for both teams. Um, it's great to be here at TV, but like, and I believe there's going to be a huge crowd as well, so um, on a nice day, it hasn't been fantastic this week, but um, uh, conditions are meant to be good for tomorrow. Um, and yeah, like it's you know, when there's an Irish squad announced during the middle of these weeks, there's always everyone has to be able to deal with the consequences of selection and, and non selection in some cases. Um, but it's yeah, we've, we've had a good week now. We're looking forward to playing here, we're looking forward to playing TV, but as I said, in front of a big crowd, um, another derby game. Um, and uh, you can see how hotly contested the derby games have been so far. So um, we're sort of been fortunate to just get out with a win last week against Connacht. So parts of our performance were good. Um, there's other parts that we've, we've you know, we, we feel like we've still a good bit to go. So that's what we try to focus on this week. So yeah, we're excited by the challenge ahead. Uh, can you talk about Kieran Crawley at, at fullback and what you're hoping for from him? Um, well, Kieran's a great footballer, um, for starters. Um, you know, we, we've had some disruptions and injuries to the back three with a, with a few guys out at the moment. Um, you know, so we've a, we have a back three there with uh, even Jamie Osborne on the wing now as well. Um, and Jimmy's moved on to the right. Um, and Kieran's come back in. Obviously, Kieran had that knock to his shoulder a few weeks ago, so he's back now. Come off the bench, just played ten minutes last week. Um, and he, he gives us extra distribution. Um, you know, he, he's another pair of hands, and he's a very good broken field runner as well. So um, yeah, he's played fifteen in the past for us. So I think it's 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 good. You know, with Johnny there, um, Robbie and Gary, there's plenty of experience in the team as well. So. Um, yeah, no, looking forward to seeing how Kieran goes. Now, people will talk about the rivalry between the two teams and you know, the number of tickets even that are sold for the match tomorrow, but has the fixture still got the same intensity there, you know, given the fact that it's, it's been a while and it seems like quite a while since Munster actually beat Leinster in a competitive game? Um, yeah, definitely. Like, if you think it's what it was going to be, close to 45,000 hopefully here tomorrow. Um, where we started off, I remember in the old door old days, you remember well, <laughs> in front of 350 people. Um, you know, so it's, it's, a, it's a huge occasion. Um, the nature of the week on week, like it's, that's, that's the challenge. But you know, for, I guess I said, it, I said it after the game last week, like for, for Irish rugby, um, it has to be a point of difference for it, isn't it? Like the way the provinces are supported, uh, the sense of, of identity that each provincial team has um, and they have their own unique identity, um, and it's important that you know we all try and celebrate the individual uh, provincial identities. Um, so you know it's we're expecting a real physical challenge. Um, that's what we try to prepare well for this week, um, because we think there'll be a huge physical challenge coming from Munster. And just a final question for me: your thoughts on that Munster team, which has just been announced? Were you were you uh, you can't say that it was unexpected lines. You, can, you, you can't say that it's the team that you expected to be facing. Um, yeah, like well, as in we heard some reports about a few injuries, um, and that's the challenge. You know, like I think some of the squads were, were pretty thin for the start of the season, um, which always places a bit more pressure on everybody else. Then, so um, and you know, some teams have come through that better than others. So um, we were we were ready for anything really, like in terms of selection part, because we'd heard a few rumblings and rumours about the potential guys that may be missing so um, anyway we, we try to prepare accordingly and um, it's always the trying to get the balance like 80 percent of it you've got to focus on yourselves and you know you've got one eye maybe on what the opposition are doing but like you still got to be able to make sure you get your own house in order and that's what we try to go after this week so um you have some good young players there and um, that have featured well in that emerging ireland tour um some of them came back into the fall straight away last week and they gave a really good account of themselves against a big physical Bulls team. So, um, <coughs> yeah, we know they can deal with that physical part. So for us now, as I said, it's just making sure we impose ourselves in the game well. Uh, we'll probably need to be more accurate than we were last week um, in terms of some of our own execution. Um, you know, the conditions played a part last week. Hopefully the conditions are going to be a bit better this week. Um, but we've had a decent week's training and hopefully that translates now into a, in a, into a good performance.